hey collective welcome back guys so let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you guys in this new moon remember today january the 21st it is the new moon in aquarius and it's the first official new moon of 2023 so according to my research this is going to be the moon that's going to open up your new beginnings moving forward so make sure that you plant your seeds for what you want to come towards you in 2023 also make sure that you be get into this gratitude energy um be grateful for all the good and the bad and the ugly everything that you've received within the past couple of years make sure that you've learned your lessons so you can start bringing in these new beginnings so let's see what is this overall energy here for my collective universe archangel spirit angel guides and guardians what is this overall energy what's coming towards my collective in this new moon free spirit independence spiritual open-minded okay and literally what i was saying you guys learning a lesson, okay? You guys freeing yourself from negative energies, a sudden realization, okay? Um, there's clarity, there's truth, there's epiphany. So I feel that a lot of things are going to be made very clear for you in this new moon collective. But it's because a lot of you guys are freeing yourself from a lack mentality. You're letting go of things, of people, places that no longer serve a purpose for you. And I feel like you're moving towards new beginnings, and these are new beginnings that are going to bring in a lot of prosperity. Definitely a lot of clarity. Universe, what's coming towards them? Yeah, I feel like in the recent past in your current energy, you might be feeling all tied up, stuck or trapped, burdened due to a situation. Maybe something changed. Maybe someone walked away from you. You could have been in a situation where there was a lot of passion, a lot of in intimacy, chemistry, but no love. Okay. Um, and something changed in this connection. For those of you guys that may be in separation from someone, keep in mind that this person was removed from your life for a reason, okay? Universe took this person out of your path because I feel like there is a true love that's about to get ready to come into your life. And someone here from your past will have a lot of regret. They're going to have a lot of regret for allowing this connection to come apart, okay? There's something about them dreaming about you, wondering how you're doing or what you're doing or who you're doing it with, Okay? But you do have this energy of you letting go, freeing yourself from a situation where you felt all tied up. And you're moving towards something more abundant, to a soulmate energy, to a situation where there's going to be love and emotion. Not only passion, intimacy, and sexual chemistry. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this overall energy here for my collective? What is going on with my collective? What is coming towards them in this new moon, please? So I have the King of Wands energy. Someone who is passionate... Someone who is taking decisions here. There's a rebirth. There's a, your energy as well. I feel like you very, you're very passionate. You know what you want. As you're letting go of this energy from the past. With the page of wands energy. Where you could have been dealing with someone who was acting childish. Who was very in and out. I feel that you're maturing. Yeah, you are leaving someone out in the cold here. With the five of pentacles and the page of wands in the reverse. You're leaving someone out in the cold, four of swords energy, and you're going into this rest and rejuvenating energy where you're recovering from the past, where you're letting go of past energies, where something was not easy to move towards or something just became more difficult on a daily basis. You've become this goddess Ella here who has decided to ground herself because the goddess Ella is an earth energy who has decided to ground herself to speak up for herself and possibly cut this person out of their lives. As you're doing that and as you're moving forward and you're doing new things, as I told you at the beginning of your reading, there is a new love coming in. This Ace of Cups energy, there's a new beginning here coming in for you, collective. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what is this current energy here for my collective? What is going on with the collective, please? The hangman. I feel that for a while you felt stuck, but you freed yourself from that situation, okay? And with the Ace of Wands energy here, it's like you got the Ace on top of the Ace, okay? So where you felt that there was going to be a beautiful new beginning with that person, it kind of fell through, okay? But now in the current energy that you're in, because you did free yourself from that situation, you're about to open up the doors to a very passionate loving, abundant new beginning here for yourself. The magician. For some of you guys, you're definitely manifesting in this new moon, okay? You're taking full advantage of this Aquarius energy right now. You might even be an Aquarius here. And you're rebuilding. With the Eight of Pentacles energy, you're rebuilding. You're rebuilding a new future for yourself. You're rebuilding stability for yourself. You're rebuilding self-confidence. You're even rebuilding yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally, 
Okay, you're removing those blockages with the Two of Swords energy here of people that came into your life and were trying to hold you back from your growth. You're cutting those people out because the Seven of Pentacles here is a stagnant growth energy. Okay, so it's you cutting those people out that aren't allowing you to grow. Okay, like I said, in this new moon with the moon here, there's a lot of things that are being made clear to you where there was a lot of illusions where there was a lot of um, fake new beginnings or fake um, fake uh, attempts to a new beginning, I feel like you're starting to see things very clearly. And it's because you're moving away from that energy. In the near future, Queen of Wands, and you got a King of Wands, you're about to get ready to meet your soulmate. The person that you are meant to be with, a Four of Cups energy. This person is going to be in a place where... They're going to look at you as the end-all be-all. They're not going to want to miss an opportunity with you. This person will not dwindle off this opportunity with you. I feel that this individual is going to see you from the other side of the room and they're going to tell themselves, that is the woman I'm going to marry. That is the man I'm going to marry. I want to be in a higher level commitment. This is my soulmate, the Two of Cups energy. This is my wish fulfillment. You're about to meet someone that is going to be... The love of your life, I heard. The per this person is going to love you the way you've never been loved, okay? There's six of wands energy. There is good news coming in. There's victory. There is success for you, okay? I feel that for a lot of you guys, you dealt with a person who was only in it for the passion, was only in it for the sexual connection. And somewhere along the line, you felt that you were just tied to that type of scenario and you decided to disconnect, but because you disconnected from that person and you decided to move away from that energy and you took full advantage of this new moon in Aquarius, you're about to bring in this beautiful new beginning. For some of you guys, your, your manifestations this evening are in regards to a new beginning, bringing in a new love to your life. Okay, You're leaving the past in the past with the seven of swords energy. Seven and eight of swords here. Whatever this person did to you, whatever this person caused you, all the tears that they made you shed, you are letting it all go. You're not taking none of that energy with you, okay? You're making major changes here with the tower moment, okay? You're destroying the stagnation. You're destroying what no longer is serving a purpose for you, and you're moving on and you're moving forward. At one point, you felt like this pre-empress in the reverse. You felt like you were never going to find better or you're never going to be with anyone better. But the truth of the matter is that it's been made very clear to you. You needed to walk away from that situation with the Eight of Cups here. The reason you needed to walk away is because this person kept on hurting you. They would act like they wanted to be with you, but they wouldn't give you that energy. Okay, And with the Seven of Wands energy, you felt it, this connection very challenging. You felt like you have to constantly protect yourself. So you gathered up your courage and you decided to move away from a situation with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse that was truthfully, truthfully very unstable. Where you were probably even made to feel like you were in competition with other people with the Five of Swords energy here. This Queen of Pentacles managed to ground herself. Okay, You managed to move away from that situation. A situation that was not going anywhere, you managed to go the opposite way. What are the final messages here from my collective universe? You got the fool and the lovers and the devil, okay? So, guys, for those of you guys that might still be dealing with this person, you are being told to look at the situation very clearly. This person is all about temptation, enslavement. They make you feel like you're on top of the world when there's intercourse. But the truth of the matter, when they're done, it's like a done deal. If somebody blew the candle out and they just walked away. You have the opportunity to have a new beginning here. You are being told to take the risk. You deserve more than that. Because you got a soulmate that's trying to come into your life. You have a lot of decisions that you're going to have to be making here in, between, in, in regards to lovers. There's going to be a new person that's going to be in your life. And this person from the past may still try, and, try to be part of your life. But you are going to be told that you have to take a chance in this new beginning here. What is the outcome for my collective regarding the situation universe? Page of Pentacles. I feel that you're going to definitely be choosing the new person and you're deciding to turn your back with this old person because there's a lot of anger. There's a lot of resentment. There's, there's a lot of disrespect there. Okay. You're letting go of communication with that past person. You know that this situation is very imbalanced, that this person is breadcrumbing you and he brings, he or she brings a lot of burdens. So at this point with the five of swords energy, you're just letting go of the conflict already, okay? You're closing out that anxiety, you're closing out that nightmare, and you're letting it go, letting it go. With the four of pentacles, you're completely, re you're completely releasing them. 
What is the forward movement here? What is the outcome for my collective universe? The Ten of Cups. The outcome is that you are going to meet somebody new if you haven't met this person yet. But there is a lot of victory. There's a lot of prosperity. There's a lot of reasons for celebration in this connection. Okay. After a time of, of trials and tribulations with the Nine of Wands energy, you're being told to, to not give up on love. Don't close the doors to love because there's someone that's going to come in here. This King of Pentacles, which is going to be looking for their Queen of Pentacles right here your divinely guided counterpart, this person's going to want to have stability with you. I'm telling you, you're going to meet this person and they're going to see you from clear across the room. There's not going to be a single obstacle, a single person or a single stool that's going to get in their way because they're going to come towards you. This person wants to be with you. They see you as their end-all, be-all with the wheel of fortune here. You are their opportunity to happiness and this person is not going to let you slip away. This is justice at its best. Okay, this is karma at its best. After you went through an emotional manipulating situation with a person who constantly kept on turning their back to you, who constantly kept on causing you all this sadness, you're about to blow up with this pre empress energy here. Didn't I just tell you you felt at one point like the pre empress in the reverse? Well, now you're the pre empress in the upright. All eyes on you, baby. You're a hot commodity. Okay, so with the, the goddess of Joya here, water sign energy particularly Pisces energy, you're being told to rest, to rejuvenate, to heal your heart because you will have an opportunity to love again, okay? And this is going to come in when you least expect it with the Ace of Swords energy here. This is truth. This is clarity. This is a new beginning for you. So it's time for you to start cutting off those people that no longer serve a purpose for you in this new moon and start preparing yourself for the new beginnings that are meant to come in. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.